I don't know. It may be a problem. Okay, hopefully it records. My computer is full. Okay, it says it's recording. I just don't know where it's gonna record. So, okay, hopefully we'll find the recording. Yay, okay. Um, so, hi everybody. Welcome to our Monday leadership call. I'm excited to just continue to change the subject a little bit from like the basics of the business, which is parties and recruiting and all that stuff. Um, I like this Monday's topics because it's more of a way um, for me to share with you things that maybe I've overcome, things that I've learned, things that I feel could help you as you continue to grow your teams and grow in your leadership. And I tell you something, like one of the hardest things for me to believe was that I was a leader and that I had the capacity to be of influence in others. And, and, and it's hard. I don't know if any of you struggle with that, like really believing that you're worthy of, of providing so much to someone or it, it doesn't even have to be a lot, but even in, in small ways that really believing that. I am worthy of changing somebody else's lives. I'm worthy of being a positive influence in other people. We tend to doubt ourselves a lot. And I don't know if that's you, but that's me. And even though today we have a team of over 2,000 people and getting tons, like I know I get every day somebody acknowledges me or says something like, Paul, oh, you're such a great leader, or thank you for your leadership, or thank you for, and it's like, me like what did I do like I I don't know it's super weird so um with that being said I do want to say um one thing as awesome as it is watching people um that you've somehow connected with they come on your team even customers like they're following you if they're if they're saying yes to you they believe in you and they believe that um in associating themselves with you their life is gonna get better Okay, very rarely somebody says, okay, sure, I'm going to sign up with you just because there's nobody else I can sign up with. They're signing up with you because they really believe that you can at least hold their hand and show them the way. They're inspired by you. Something they saw in you, whether they've known you for a while or they just connected with you, they saw hope. Otherwise, they wouldn't sign up. Okay, so start believing that if one person said yes to you, you're already a leader, okay? So leading is, be, leading is being a person of influence, influencing somebody else. So that's it, don't complicate it. There's a few areas that I do believe we have as leaders, we have to work on. And sometimes we think, uh, I hear this a lot. Like I, I'm, I actually was, I used to be guilty of saying that I didn't need uh, personal development. To me, personal development was I needed motivation. I'm like, I am super motivated. Like, what are you talking about? I don't need no motivation. I don't need personal development for years. I'm like not making it a priority until I started reading books. And the reason why it started clicking in my mind was because I would watch leaders. And this is when I was with my previous company. I would watch um, and this is something that you guys can do. So I remember watching like leaders from other companies posting pictures of books they were, they were reading. And I'm like, I don't have time for that. I'm too busy. But then when I stopped and I paid attention to what they were sharing. So for example, I would see a picture of, a, of something that they were reading and, and I stopped. I'm like, okay, let me, let me read what that page is about. So that was the beginning of my personal development. I was reading pages from what other people, because I was always, I would always take a book and fall asleep. I'm like, I don't have time. I can't do it. I can't picture myself sitting down in the middle of the day to read a book. What kind of waste of time is that? I'm legit telling you that was me. So of course I wasn't growing because I wasn't, I wasn't feeding my mind and, and strengthening my, my leadership muscles because I was just staying stuck where I was. The, the, the pudding is in the personal growth. So um, I always think when, as we start reaching other levels, there's new devils, right? That's a common saying. And that's when personal development comes so, I don't know. Do you guys read, like, be honest. Do you think it's a waste of time? And you're like, 
I don't need to read. Or maybe podcasts. Podcasts count as, per, I mean, they're a great personal development. Totally, totally awesome. So, so anyway, so I started reading what other leaders were posting. I'm like, man, that's good. What's the name of that book? And I'm like, okay. And then I would read somebody else. I'm like, oh, wow, that book is really good. Like that, oh, that made sense. And then it clicked like, oh, that, that's why people read. Like there's actually good stuff in these books and it's really important. So uh, <laughs> my point is leadership needs you to get to the next level. You need to make it a priority. Just like you brush your teeth and take a shower, make it a priority. Even if it's only 10 minutes or if you have a commute, then don't play music. I don't care. Don't, no, 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 no. You need to listen if you want to grow. You need to listen to, to some personal development. You need to listen. And many times it's not so much about motivation, but it's hearing sometimes uh, there's a lot of podcast um, authors, no, podcasters that interview other people. So in those interviews, you learn and you just for inspiration of hearing somebody going through struggles of whatever, it's like, okay, that starts developing your, your resilience and your, you know, your, it encourages you in knowing about other people. I find it super valuable and super important. And I know when I'm feeling like, blah, it's because I'm not focused in that. Like the, the earlier in the day, I feed my brain with the, with, even if it's just 10 minutes, whether it is a book or um, a podcast, it just sets the tone for the rest of the day. Totally. I guarantee it. I don't know why my computer keeps telling me these things. Okay. So there's, um, there's one thing that I want to share. And, and this is like just addressing the elephant in the room. Leadership is hard, you guys, right? Like, I don't know if you found that. And a lot of you work um, at like real jobs. Not that Zai is not a real job, but you know what I mean? Like you have corporate jobs where you have to deal with people. You have people that are under you or parenting, like leading a dog to do things that you need to, you know what I mean? Like in, in uh, there's, I don't know if you're a teacher, if you're whatever, wherever you are, unless you are this hermit that lives under a rock, you are in one way or another, a leader. And it can be very challenging and it can also be a very lonely place. You get to certain levels where you start feeling like everybody's against you, but it doesn't have to be that way. It's not, it's not supposed to be that way. We may see it that way. So don't, don't like create that habit for yourself where you continue to grow and you continue to be part of community where you can continue growing that way and I think that with Zaya we have that and I just want to acknowledge it and 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 just say I I feel so inspired and so motivated to continue to grow and I never feel lonely because I feel like many of us together we we like you can see the ones that are sharing I see how some like sharing the books they're reading like it it's contagious. Like I can see that many of us are growing. And um, just in case, I do want to point out five areas to focus on. And I'm going to give you guys some suggestions for podcasts. And some of you may already be familiar with them. But I would say five areas where we want to make sure we're focusing on are number one, growth. And that, like I said, reading, podcasts, but be intentional about growth. Like where do you, where do you see, what areas are you, is, is it motivation? Like, do you need motivation or are you already motivated? Maybe your area where you like, you're like, I wake up and I'm like, I'm ready to go. I don't need motivation. I just need strategy or I need to know how somebody else is doing this so I can do that. So be intentional about your growth because you, if you don't need motivation in a way to me, you're wasting time. Now that's a waste of time not being intentional about the growth and where you're putting the growth, where you're putting your time, in what areas you need to do. So invest in yourself. You may have to, I mean, there's so much content on YouTube, on, on Facebook, so many calls and so many trainings from our upline, sidelines, from everywhere. Even people in the 
in the same industry, but maybe a different company. What are they doing? What ideas can I get from that? That is, there's so much out there that is free. Now that is growth. Yes, there's motivation, there's strategy, there's um, learning from other people, but be intentional about, okay, I am struggling with this. I am struggling. So if you're struggling with, um, I don't know, recruiting, then focus on that. You don't need more motivation. If you already know that you want to recruit, you want to build your business, why are you listening to motivation? You don't need that. You just need action, right? Things that you can implement and strategies that you can start implementing. Now that's growth. Whenever you're focusing on going to the next level. Um, number two, connection. Connecting, valuing people and focusing on what is my purpose being here? How can I make a difference in others? And how can I become a better leader so I can be of better service to other people? And definitely, who are you surrounding yourself with? Like, are the people that are you're connecting with, are they always complaining? Are they negative? Is everything an issue for them? Because it honestly, it has the it is more powerful than a positive mindset. Negativity tends to be more dominant than, than the positive person that is trying to make a difference in the world. We tend to dim our light because the negativity tends to be stronger, right? So don't, don't necessarily block them out of your life, but surround yourself with positive people and community. And I tell you, if there's somebody out there who has accomplished the things that you want to accomplish, I guarantee you 90 I would say 95% of them will gladly have a chat with you, a phone call with you. It doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that, like your sponsor or your upline. If you reach out to me and you ask me for help, you say, Paula, do you mind if I ask you? I, am, I will gladly help you. But of course, being that you're in my downline, I benefit from you doing better. But what I'm trying to say, if it's somebody who's, who's not directly benefiting from you, but I just want to tell you, success successful people want other people to be successful as well and you'll find yourself i'm sure many of you share like when you feel good about something you created or you did something you implemented something that is helping you don't you feel like you want to share with other people i feel like we have a lot of that on our team like oh my god guys i did this here you can use it that's what i'm talking about people who are having success want other people to succeed too so never feel like you can't reach out to somebody and ask for help ask them for something thank them and if they tell you okay this is what i think you should do go implement it and then let them know that it's working for you because you'll be able to get maybe another conversation another chat another uh, you can ask another question and they'll be happy to help you okay so who are you connecting with and i'll tell you I, at a certain point earlier this year i started feeling like i was I'm like i feel like i like I need to go to another level and I need to surround myself with the people that are there already. Like I started feeling like, okay, how do I get to the next level so I can help my team get to the next level? So that's when I, I joined a mastermind and I hire a coach and what a difference it has made being able to have those conversations and hearing the struggles from other people at that same level and being able to make changes and implement back in our on our team so that's been great and it was very intimidating but i tell you surround yourself with the people that are where you want to be so those are people that you should talk to watch their behaviors mirror their behaviors do what they're doing and it doesn't have to be you know it doesn't have to be just in our team there's i i follow people in other companies and i just follow what they're doing and i mirror what they're doing because i admire what they're doing it doesn't mean that i want to sell what they want to sell or i want to represent what they're doing but um i i value what they do so i'll tell you guys an example and this is a great podcast that you guys could follow my sponsor in beachbody was melanie mitro and I have a lot of respect for her. I saw her journey from the beginning. I, it doesn't mean that I don't like that. I can't learn from her, even though I'm not there anymore. She has a podcast. Her name is Melanie Mitro. And I can't remember the name of her podcast right now, but if you search for Melanie Mitro, she has great stuff on network marketing. And she also has, um, lots of youtube videos if you want guys want to check want to check that out 
Um, and that's just to give you an example. I follow other people like Shelly and Johnson and well, you guys have heard me talk about race. Um, not, oh, am I, let me type it. Hold on. She is everything that I want to be and more. And, and I see, okay, here it is. Melanie Mitchell. There you go, Melanie. Um, there's other people in other companies, but see who you, you find out there that, and it doesn't just have to be network marketing, but it could be strategies. Who could you learn from? And, um, okay. Maybe groups where sometimes we have to place ourselves out of what we're used to so that we can see things from a different perspective, if that makes sense. Um, okay. The number three, so number one, growth, number two, connection number three mindset and that is one that is hard to 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 maintain because sometimes we just get in a hole we get in a funk and like things are coming at us from different directions and and it's like I can't do this anymore and that's I think mindset is a it, I believe mindset is a muscle and the more we develop it the the more it goes through the more it grows and the tough it get, the, the more we toughen it so um just continue to be coachable continue to be positive being more like waking up with a with a solution uh, becoming a, sol a problem solver a solution person and not somebody who's complaining and allowing that to come into your space. Like whenever you see, I see this all the time, and this was something that I had to really, I, I'm a people pleaser, and I hate like addressing people's behavior. Like I tend to just look the other way and whatever, but once, once I started growing as a leader and like, oh, I actually need to protect the energy of the team or the energy of a little chat or whatever, it is up to me to stop it or just continue to feed it right so having those conversations when people come with negative i don't know if you guys see sometimes there's i don't know somebody is actually having a complaint about shipping or a complaint about a thread coming out of a legging and they just go blasted in 27 zaya groups and they're just talking about this and then all the other negative people come out to play they never comment on anything, but there's one negative thing. And now everybody's like the big commenter, right? Like, where have you been before? You never had commented anything on anything. Um, like, oh, I, there's, I read this in one book about network marketing where it says negative goes up, positive goes down. And I cannot remember where I read it. I want to believe it's in maybe Ray's book about leadership. This is a really good book, you guys. Freakishly Effective Leadership for Network Marketers. This is from Ray. It's on Audible and it's on Amazon. And it's it's about $12, I believe, $10. And it's so skinny. Look, I love it. <laughs> it's full of nuggets. But I think that's where I read it. Positive down, negative up. So if you have something you're struggling with, go to your sponsor. Go to the second person above your sponsor, your upline. Go to them. The, you, the, there's no need to post it in a freaking group. There's no need to go create negativity in a chat with 20, 30 people. Why? Why? Like, why? It doesn't, it doesn't, not that it's wrong that you do it. It's just like, okay, what's the point of making something that none of us can solve? Go to customer service, go to corporate. And that's what I want you to don't feel like, oh my God, people are commenting negative things. No, address it. Go to the person and say, hey, do me a favor. Reach out to customer service. We really can't do anything about it. Reach out to them. Send an email to customer service. Send an email to SAC. Things like that. And when it's, if the worst one is gossip, like no gossip, complaining about other reps, I always say, hey, go talk to them. Go talk to that person. I can't solve the problem for you. We're adults here. Right. So mindset, be coachable, be persistent, be um, the, the more we focus on those behaviors, the easier it comes and the more we grow. Be a solution seeker, be persistent, coachable, have, a, have a, um, always awareness of, of what are little things that we can always do better. The number four, which goes 
a little bit from with the beginning, but leadership. And, and when it comes to leadership, like I mentioned, is influence. So really focusing on being intentional about the things that we're doing. I am assuming that if you're on this call, it's because you wanna, you wanna grow in your leadership. You want to, I wanna think that you, you want to have a bigger team. You wanna have a bigger reach. You wanna have a bigger impact, right? So yes, yes, yes. So <laughs> I love it. My favorite is the last one and that's gonna be number five. But um, in leadership, I, and I have another book for you guys where basically where I got a lot of what I'm talking about today is this one. Also very skinny. I'm all about skinny books because I don't have the patience to read long books. I don't finish them. I'm like, oh, another book. I want that one. So they gotta be short, um, skinny. So it's like, look, it's like, my head is bigger than this book. See that? It's super cool. So it's called The Power of Five. And this is the first, the only network marketing focused book that John Maxwell has. All his other books about leadership, but it's hard to implement it into like network. Not that they're not good. They're good, but they're not so network marketing focused like this one is. And this is maybe, it's been out for like six months, The Power of Five for network marketing. Um, so leadership, live intentionally, be a person of influence. How can you add value? And it could be little things as, um, what are you posting? Are you just post like leadership is influence, right? So using our social media to influence others. So I'll tell you, remember when I just shared with you in the beginning of the call that I used to see leaders from and like my previous company sharing pages of what they're reading. It, something as simple as that can can position you as a person of influence. You're influencing other people, whether you get something in exchange for it or not, but you are, you're positioning yourself as a person of influence. So what are the things that you're sharing? You don't have to. So we were going through, and Margaret, you may relate to this, and, and uh, Lindsay, you too. I don't know who else is, but some of you are in that challenge with me. Like we're like, I don't know what to talk about. What do we talk about? I have no idea. We're doing a 14 day challenge where every day, right, under Ray's mentoring. And it's like, we, we have to add value. And we're like, I don't know what to talk about. Like the normal things that come to my mind are something related with motivation and exercise, well, but it's stretching me because I'm like, I, I want to find something else to talk about. And, and a big one for me is, mindset like helping other people with things that they're struggling with um and it could it could you don't have to be part of a challenge you don't have to go live every day but how can you i mean something as simple as sharing a page of a book that you're reading that could be of help to somebody else like pay attention to what your your friends on social media are sharing like seeing on your Facebook, if a lot of them are sharing about, oh, I don't, I don't know what to get for Christmas or blah, blah, blah. So how about, hey, look at these gifts or look at this. I came across this article about this or um, articles on how to solve problems. So I don't know, Elizabeth, uh, and I'm not sure what you do for work, which is really intriguing to me, but from paying attention to your post, you, something about running. Your world is around runners, right? Do you work for Runner's World? No. For whom? I used to work for a running magazine, yes. Okay, and what do you do now? I actually lead a nonprofit that finds homeless people jobs and homes through running. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting. So I'm sure you'll have a lot of people in your circle that run. Yes. How can you, like, how can you help them become better runners how can you help them with like things related to that topic if your if your people are all moms how can you help those moms so solve their problems and then that's that's leadership leadership is not just leading a team and and doing this thing it's also what we do outside of it that makes us whole and how good it feels on the inside. So um, think about those little things every day when you're thinking about what to post and what to share. Remember that the people in your team are also following your posts. You're, you're being an example for them. So you have to be a way I feel like you have to be the same person that you are in your social media, 
in your team meetings, in your back office, in your, like, be that same person in, in the same, pla in, in all of the platforms where you're, where you're putting yourself out there, the same in person, in the videos, in the groups, in the whatever, like that they see and like, okay, I, I want to, I want to see everything about you and I'm going to see all that consistency throughout. So people are watching you, especially the people that haven't joined you yet. They're, they're watching you to see if you really are what you're saying in the group or what you're really saying somewhere else. So I think that, that all makes leadership not being perfect necessarily. No, I, I don't feel I'm perfect. Oh my gosh, I have so much work to do on myself. Um, but it's that constant pursuit of becoming better. And then the last one, number five, is significance. I think a big part of being a great leader is what, what you want to accomplish with it. What's your vision? So many people, especially I think the newer, the people in the newer ranks focus in ranks. Like, how can I get to the next rank? How do I get to the next rank? How, how? I, I think if we focus more on the impact that we can make and just every day showing up with that vision, we have much more, we get much more out of it than if we just focus on getting to a rank. The ranks are great. I haven't rank advanced in forever. Uh, the ranks are great, but to me is more powerful the impact that I'm making, like knowing that in showing up and doing things is making a bigger impact. The ranks come, the ranks come, and the higher you start getting in the ranks, the harder it gets to get to the next rank. Um, but um, focusing on the vision and where we want to go and showing up as that person and continually growing and developing ourselves to get to that, to that level, it's, um, it's where it's at, it's where I think we have more fulfillment as leaders. We have more joy as leaders. The, the, um, what is it? Oh, the um, issues with, um, that come up in leadership, just like as in work, think of your, your bosses. Like I'm sure they also have battles that we, you don't even know about and they come with a territory. But if we focus in these five areas, and I'll say them again, just in case, growth, connection, mindset, leadership, and significance, it just makes the job as a leader easier. Fulfillment, joy, growth, and um, staying grounded, staying positive, and I do believe surrounding ourselves with people that are battling those same battles makes it even easier. Like Even if we don't have the books, the 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 ranks the mindset or oh, none of that but if you're surrounded with the right amount of people in the right community it it just it just overflows okay so you guys i would love to hear any input if anybody wants to share something and if you want to share something that you're struggling with i can turn off the recording <laughs> and if you want to share something that you're struggling with and um, we can either talk about it now or it could be the topic for our next call so i would love to hear your input so i'm going to stop the recording and i'm going to hear from you guys um if anybody has something that they want to share uh do you want to stop recording